This video shows how to model spiral conveyors in AnyLogic. Let's start with drawing the conveyor. Navigate to the Material Handling Library palette. Double-click the conveyor element in the Space Markup section to activate the drawing mode. The pencil icon will appear. Now we'll draw the conveyor point by point. Click in the Graphical Editor to start drawing. Since the first conveyor segment is linear, we'll place its end point with a mouse click. The blue line following the mouse cursor shows where the first conveyor segment will be placed. Now we'll draw a circle with two curved segments. To draw a curved conveyor segment, press and hold the mouse button at the segment's endpoint, and then move the mouse without releasing the mouse button until you get the required segment shape. To achieve the perfect circular shape, drag the mouse until the guiding line is directed horizontally. Release the mouse button and continue drawing the conveyor. Press the mouse button and drag the mouse to draw the second curved segment. There, we've drawn a circle. Repeat the steps to add another circle. Now draw the final linear segment. Double click at the end of the segment to complete drawing. We did a great job. Now we'll increase the Z coordinate for the points to stretch the spiral vertically. Expand the points section of the conveyor's properties. Here you see the coordinates of the conveyor's salient points. The coordinates are relative to the position of the conveyor's starting point. So the first point's coordinates are zeros. The second point defines the end of the linear segment, which stays on the same height, while the height of the next four points must be increased by 20 pixels each. The final point defines the horizontal linear segment, so it keeps the height of the previous point. The changes aren't visible. We'll see the resulting spiral shape when we run the model. To define the process logic, we'll create a simple flowchart. It will start with the source block from the process modeling library. Then we'll place the convey block from the material handling library. It will simulate the transportation of the material items through the conveyor network. And finally, the sync block goes in. Now navigate to the convey block properties and specify our spiral conveyor as both the source conveyor and the target conveyor. Now it's time to fine tune the source block. Expand its Advanced Properties section and let the agents who cannot enter the conveyor wait inside the source block. Add 3D Window from the Presentation palette. It will allow us to view 3D animation during runtime. Now we're ready to run the model and see how it works. Great! Items are moving along the conveyor. However, two more things can be improved. Let's add 3D shape for the box and make the conveyor stands invisible. To set a custom animation shape for the material item, we'll create a new material item type. Navigate to the Material Handling Library palette and drag the Material Item Type element. Name it Box and set the Box 1 Closed 3D model from the Boxes section as its animation shape. In the graphical editor of the created agent type, make the shape consistent with the animation placeholder area. Navigate to the main diagram. In the source properties, change the agent type to box. Select the conveyor, expand its appearance properties, and disable drawing its stands. Now run the model again. Perfect! That's how you create a spiral conveyor. The described technique can be used to draw serpentine roads, multi-level highways, curved railroads, and spiral stairways. Thanks for watching. Just to let you know, we do this for food and for your likes.